as you guys can see, um, I bought a greenhouse. <laughs> and yeah, now, now I have a greenhouse. So yeah, I just wanted to make a video today kind of showing you guys um, some of the anthurium varieties that I have growing. I also did want to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of um, the new setup. Um, I know that I have kind of disappeared for a little bit. I will admit, when it comes down to like filming videos and whatnot, I am kind of like, I do struggle a little bit um, to get motivation. So I am trying to post a video of my IKEA cabinet setup um, and like a few other things of like Ethereum care and stuff like that. I just, I need to get around to it. Um, but today I wanted to specifically focus on Ethereums um, and my Ethereum collection. Um, I would say I have maybe around 100 plants in my collection or like around there. Um, and maybe like a little more than half of them are anthuriums so I am big on them I am actually planning on downsizing my collection and selling off kind of anything that's not anthurium because I do want to start focusing more on this genus of plant because I really enjoy growing them um, and uh, hopefully at some day can start hi making hybrids of my own um, but that's that's in the future <laughs> Um, today I'm just going to be showing you guys stuff that I have growing, some of like my favorite anthuriums. Um, I have everything pulled out of the IKEA cabinet right now, so you guys are going to be seeing some stuff that maybe are updates um, and some, some new stuff that I'm really excited to show you guys. So yeah, <laughs> let's, let's get into it. Okay, I'm kind of having a hard time deciding where I want to start. Um, so I guess I'll start from this side. Okay, so what I have here is a Anthurium peltigenium. So um, quick disclaimer, I guess, I am not a pro when it comes to pronouncing Anthurium names, so if I am saying something wrong, I do apologize. Um, some of the stuff does kind of have like little tongue twister names, so please do have some forgiveness <laughs> if I am saying something wrong. But um, back to it, this, like I said, is an Anthurium peltigenium. Um, it is a bit different from a lot of the stuff that I do have in here. It does have kind of more like leaves that are on the more waxy side, um, kind of like leathery. A lot of the stuff that I choose to collect is on the more velvety side, and I don't really like stuff like this typically, but I had this one on my wish list for a while just because, I don't know, like I really, really like the veining that it has on it. And kind of just like the round leaf shape and how like elegant it is but also kind of like kind of dumb looking but i love it <laughs> but yeah hopefully i can get this one to grow really large for me i would love to see what this looks like but like huge um <laughs> but for now mine's a pretty medium size i am really lucky to have gotten this one for the price that i did because these are kind of expensive at the moment um, from what I've seen. And I think I got mine for around like 45 locally or around there. So it definitely was a score. But here's what it looks like up close. Hopefully you guys can see everything well. Okay, next one. This is a Anthurium Dark Forgetii. Um, I think I actually have another one of these that I'll be showing you guys later, which is going to be the mother one. So this one was a propagation that I took off of the mother plant. Um, and I decided to keep this one because I do really enjoy these. Um, and I was attached to this one specifically because it was one of the first propagations I took. Um, here's the newest leaf that it's given me. And then here's one of the older leaves. And then the next one I have hanging out to next to it is actually another Anthurium forgetii, but this one is white stripe form or silver form. Um, basically just means that instead of very, very dark minimalistic veining, it has kind of like bright shimmery silver veins. Um, this was actually, I think, one of the first Anthuriums that I purchased and it was my most experimental one, the one that I learned like how to take care of anthuriums, kind of like what they need. I reduced this one down to a chunk 
I think at least like three times. So yeah, this one has been on a journey um, and it has finally, finally started to give me some actually decent growth. Um, this was the last leaf that it put off, which I was really, really excited about and happy to see that it was coming back. And it did recently push out a new leaf which is still pretty small, so I am really curious to see how big it's gonna grow. Um, it has a really nice looking root system, if you guys can see right there. So I'm hoping that it starts to really size up its growth um, for the next few leaves, but we will see. All right, so the newest leaf on this one actually did come out a bit like wonky because I missed a watering and it got a little too dry, um, but it is still really, really gorgeous. Hopefully you guys can see kind of like the different colors that it has going on. It's got a lot of like blue, like shimmer. So this one is a Anthurium Crystal Mag Hybrid, so Crystallinium and Magnificum. Um, I have two of these. This one has definitely more like veining going on than the next one I'm going to show you. But the emergence when they come out are so pretty. I mean, like, I really hope that you guys can see well what that looks like. And it looks like this leaf is going to get, like, pretty decently sized, hopefully. The next one I'm showing you guys, um, this one is kind of unknown of what exactly it is. The tag says Anthurium villanorium and... It's either a Crystallinium or a Papillomamium hybrid, um, but I'm not really sure, and the person who sold me wasn't sure either, but I really, really have been enjoying this one. This is the newest leaf that it gave me, and I cannot wait for it to give me the next leaf because I'm hoping that it sizes up really, really nicely. And then moving on, um, this is another Crystallinum and Magnificum hybrid. Um, I, it's actually really cool seeing the difference between, you know, like the same kinds of hybrids and how different they can look. Um, this one's a lot darker um, and has a lot less veining going on than the other one that I have. Hopefully you guys can see it well, how dark it is. This is the newest leaf that it gave me. Well, actually, this is like the newest hard enough leaf that it gave me. And then at the moment, it's giving me this leaf, which I'm really excited for. Hopefully it gets a pretty good size. And I really hope you guys can see on camera, it's a really, really beautiful shade of like reddish orange. Yeah, I think this plant's gonna size up really nicely. So moving on. So this right here is my Dark Forgetty Eye mother plant. Um, this is a new leaf it gave me. It hasn't really done much. It has been a pretty slow grower for me. Um, I think it's just because I chopped it up a little bit. Um, I've moved it around a lot since I've got it. The newest leaf did get some damage on it. And I think it was for me moving it around a lot, but I have really, really enjoyed this one and I am happy with how big this leaf did get. This was another one of my first like anthuriums that I started off with. So it always will have kind of a special place in my heart. But yeah, I hope that the next leaf it puts off is a really good size and I'll definitely take better care of it and be more careful so that way it's in better condition. All right, next one I have right here. This one is really cool because it did recently just put off this leaf. So it's kind of going through the hardening stages um, where it's changing a lot of different colors. Um, Crystallaniums are more of a common in theorem and easier to find and definitely one of like the easier in theorems to start off with if you're getting into them. Um, really really gorgeous and when they put out new leaves it's one of my favorite things because they're so colorful 
they start off kind of like a bright pink and then kind of just transition through a lot of different like copper tones and reds and oranges so I do have a few in my collection and I've actually got two growing in here this is the larger one and then here's the smaller one So here they are. And then right next to this one, I have a Anthurium Forgetii and Crystallinium Hybrid. And this is the newest leaf that it's given me. This one has been such a good grower for me. And I'm super excited to see how big the next leaf that it puts off gets. Um, just because this is a really good size and it's not hard and off yet. So I think it's going to keep getting bigger and it's just really, really pretty. So next one I have, this is a Anthurium Magnificum and Luxurians Hybrid. Um, this one hasn't done much until recently where it actually put off a new growth point. So I am really, really excited to see what the newest leaf looks like. Um, I'm hoping that this one, as it gets bigger, starts to get more like velvety textured um, while keeping like the Luxurians like kind of bullet texture to it so I'm really really excited to see what this one looks like when it puts out the next leaf um but for now it's just hanging out just one leaf on it <laughs> it's cute okay so moving on to some of the next plants these are actually plants that i keep in my ikea greenhouse um and i'm really really excited to show you guys this one specifically because it has been a wishlist plant for a while. This is a Anthurium Red Crystallanium. It does have some damage on it um, from shipping, but hopefully you guys can see how like dark and bluish that leaf is. And it's really cool because Right here, it's got a new leaf coming in on it. And I don't think the camera can really even capture how like, <laughs> how crazy that looks. I am really happy because it did ship with this new leaf and I was really worried that it would get like cold damage and stuff because it has been pretty cold here, but it's been hanging in there really, really well. I don't see any damage coming in on it. Um, when it hardens off, I am kind of afraid that it will, but it's been looking really good right now. But yeah, I am super happy that I finally got my hands on one of these. Um, so you guys will definitely be seeing a good amount of updates on this because I cannot wait to grow this, you know, and see how big I can get this one to grow. All right, so moving on. This one is actually a update from, I think, my maybe favorite plants of December. Like, the, one of the first plant videos that I posted. And at the time, it was actually just a chop and prop project. And I have the original plant right here. This is the top cutting. And I did recently clip off the two oldest leaves because they were a bit damaged and... Um, kind of just like yellowing. So I clipped them off and this is the newest leaf that the top cut gave me. And then this is what I got from the bottom cut. So here is my Tear and Thinner Regals. I really, really love these ones. Um, it was super cool seeing the process of the leaf coming out on this one. Um, when I saw the first growth point, I was like freaking out. Um, maybe I'll put some pictures in so you guys can see what this leaf looked like. Um, maybe like two weeks ago. Oh, 
hope you guys don't have any trouble seeing this one. This is my monster of an Anthony Miguel. It does have some damage on it, and I think that this leaf is starting to kind of die off um, because it is putting energy into putting off a new leaf, which I'm really, really excited for. I have been waiting for this for a good amount of time, um, and it kind of just hasn't done anything until recently where it started pushing out this new leaf. So you guys will definitely see lots of updates on this if you do follow our Instagram. Um, I'll be posting about this one soon. It looks kind of crazy coming out. And then over here, I have this Anthurium Bessier um, crossed with a Papillomamium. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I don't think I am. Um, I've always kind of like heard different pronunciations of it, but Papillomamium <laughs> is my best attempt at saying it. But yeah, so that is what this is crossed with. Ignore the damage on the new leaf. I was really, really sad about it, but it was completely my fault because I decided to repot this one and take a bottom cutting while this new leaf was coming out. Note to self and anybody watching who is curious, um, do not repot or take cuttings of any like anthuriums when they're putting out a new leaf just because you will probably see damage on that leaf like I did. Um, so yeah, but I still have been enjoying this one. It's really, really pretty. I love anthurium bestiaes. Um, just because like when they put out new leaves, the emergence and like the different colors that you see in these is just absolutely stunning. I would say it's like kind of like the colors of a peacock, just a lot of like blues and kind of like purples and greens. So really, really nice one. And then this is the biggest leaf on it. I guess I'll show you guys this one next. This right here is a pure Anthurium Bessier. Um, I had this plant on my wish list for so long. And when Ecregina, the company, finally opened a shop in the US, they had these for sale. So I hopped on it. Um, I couldn't resist. And I'm really, really happy to have this one under my care. But <laughs> I ended up making the mistake of breaking off the leaf that it was giving me, which I was so sad about. But I was being stupid. I was messing around um, with the leaves and putting this little, like, tape thing on them to hold the leaves closer. And I pulled it a little too tight and just it snapped off. And I was sitting there for maybe, like, 10 minutes just, like, regretting my decision and contemplating life. But, um... <laughs> I am happy to say that it's finally putting off a new growth point after maybe like two weeks, maybe three weeks of just taking some time to heal. <laughs> but yeah, it's really exciting. And then here's the older leaves. They have some damage, but I'm really excited to see that new leaf. And like I said, those colors that the Bessiers have when they put off new leaves, it's just stunning. So. I can't wait to see that for myself. All right, the next one that I have here, this is a Anthurium Carla Blackie and Papillomamium. Um, it has flowered for me, but I am not completely sure how viable this inflow is gonna be just because it has been, it's been maybe like a month since it put this off and it hasn't done anything, so I'm kind of thinking about cutting it off um, just because it is really small. So if I do get any like, um, like pollen from it, it's not going to be a lot. Don't know how viable it is um, going to be. So I think at this point it might just be best for me to clip it off and let that plant put any of the energy it's putting into this flower um, back into giving me new growth. So I think I might do that, but we'll see. But anyways, this is definitely one of my favorite ones in my collection. Um, has some really, really great jeans. I love this leaf shape and I love how dark it is. So I'll just let you guys enjoy that. This 
the next one I'll show you guys. This is a, it was sold to me as a Anthurium Cernomii, so I'm going to go with that. Um, this is the newest leaf that I got from it. It's really, really decent size. It was actually really crazy watching this one put out its first leaf because when it started off, it was so small. I mean, maybe like that big and it just started like expanding like crazy over I think it probably took like a week and a half or two weeks for it to get to this size um it does have some damage from me not watering it on time and letting it dry out a little too much but I have really been enjoying this one and it actually does have another growth plant right here um which I am hoping is a new leaf and not a flower but I'm not completely sure I think it's a new leaf hopefully you guys can see that well But yeah, we'll see what that does. I'll definitely probably post updates about this one. And then the next one I have here to show you guys. Um, this one was sold to me locally as a Papillomamium, Ralph Lauren, and Fort Sherman. Um, with its, it's either self or it's bred with a repapillomamium, um, but it's not really for sure. Um, but honestly, don't care what it is. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, the newest leaf that has given me, the colors have been absolutely insane. At some point, it was like a lemonade pink, and then it was like orange, and it's always had like blue and green undertones to it. So it's been really, really cool seeing this leaf come out. And I'm actually pretty excited because it just pulled out this new leaf. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's really, really small. But I've been freaking out about it. I cannot wait to see that new leaf unfurl um, and take some pictures of that for you guys. Because when this new leaf was coming out, the colors were insane, like I was saying. So I can't wait to see how dark this gets as well. Um, the plants that, like, the possible parent plants for this one specifically are all really, really gorgeous, and the leaves that it came with, um, are very, very light. I'm thinking probably due to, like, getting too much light wherever they were, um, so hopefully this one is very dark, and as well as the new leaf that it's giving me, but yeah, so this one's a really, really cool one that I was excited to add to my collection. The next one I'll show you guys, this one's really cute. Um, it was one of the biggest Anthurium Crystallinium seedlings that I had. I bought a pack of, I think maybe like four or five for maybe like 40 or like $35. Um, and I really, really like this one. It's been growing really well. And like I said, amazing plant for anybody starting with anthuriums and like just starting to get into them they can handle lower humidity and they're just like one of the harder for anthuriums to like kill um <laughs> and as you can see really really gorgeous the next one i'll show you guys this one is actually has a really exciting update um this was the leaf that it gave under my care, and then this was one of the leaves that it came with. It came with another one, but I clipped it off a while ago because it was kind of just turning yellow all over, so it was time. Um, it actually has recently given me a new leaf, which I've been really excited for. Um, I am going to move it to the greenhouse just because I think that... It was either too much light or maybe from like the fans blowing on it because in my cabinet it was directly underneath the fans and when ethereum leaves are emerging they're very delicate so kind of anything like you know even if it's very low setting on the fan it can still damage the leaves and I think that's what happened here. Hopefully in here this leaf will come out intact. Um, I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to touch it. I know Anthurium Orcanums are known to be kind of like just like big babies and very very difficult for a lot of people um but I mean so far mine hasn't given me any issues aside from coming out with some damage so hopefully
hopefully I'll be able to fix this issue with the next leaf, um, but I'm really excited. So I'll show you guys this one. This is actually another Crystallinium and Magnificum hybrid. Um, as you can see, like the other ones, it differs a lot from the other hybrids that are the same. It is actually giving me a new leaf right here, which has been really cool to see. It's really, really dark, kind of like more on the purple side. So I'm excited to see what it looks like when it gets a little bit bigger. I've got some seedling updates actually. So this is one of the seedlings that I got from Plants and Paprin, which I did an unboxing video and this is one of the ones that was in it. Um, it's called a, I think it's an SKG Crystal Red. And when I got it, it only had, I think maybe like this leaf and then this one on it. Um, and so as you can see, it's gotten a really, really decent size. This one, the leaves when they emerge, they are such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, I can't even explain it. Hopefully I have some pictures that I can show you guys, but if not, um, I made a story for this one on um, the plant Instagram. So you guys can go see it on there um, because I did recently post some pictures of like the leaf of this one when it came out. But hopefully you guys can see that up close. I have just been really enjoying this one. It's been such an easy grower and it's really dark and got some like really cool undertones of different colors going on. The next one I have to show you guys that was, I think this was in that unboxing. This is a, okay, I think a blue velvet ace and papillomamium hybrid. Um, is my guess, but that might be wrong. I'd have to go look and I don't feel like it, but this is the newest leaf that it gave me and it's absolutely gorgeous. You can definitely see the blue undertones that this one has in the leaf. Yeah, this one's also been another really, really strong grower. Um, so I can't wait to see this one get big. It's got a really strong root system on it, but I did just recently repot it. So it might be a little bit till it puts off the next leaf, but I think the next one it does put off will be a really decent size, which I'm excited for because this definitely is one of my favorite seedlings that I got from, from Plants and Pamperin. Well, actually it might be a tie because I have another two, well, Man, this is hard. Yeah, no, I actually can't say that this one's my favorite. Let me show you guys another one, which is another update. This one is a Ace of Spades and Papillomamium hybrid. Um, and it just gave me this new leaf, which is really, really pretty. And I think when I got this one, it was just these three leaves on it. So this one has also sized up really nicely. Um, and I'm super excited to see what the next leaf looks like and how dark this one is going to harden off. And then another update that I have for you guys, which I think is probably one of the more exciting ones. This is my Ethereum Voodoo Child, and it's actually put off two leaves since I got it, so I'm really excited to show you guys this one. This is the newest leaf. And then this is the last one it gave me. And when I got it, it was just these little tiny leaves, so I'm super happy to be giving you guys a good update on this one. I don't think it's actually been that long since I got these either, so... I think within a few months, um, hopefully we'll have some, some larger growth on it, but I have been really enjoying watching this one grow. And then a more recent one that I got from Plants from Pamperin is actually this, I think this is a green papillomamium and a repap. So it's those two crossed together and 
I mean, it's really small right now, but you can already see how gorgeous this one's going to be. This is the newest leaf that it's put off. And it's like a really gorgeous bronze, kind of like orange color. And then this is the last leaf that it has on it. Which I mean like, hopefully you guys can see on screen how velvety that one is. But yeah, I'm super excited to see this one grow. So hopefully I'll have an update on this one in the coming months. All right, moving on. The next one I have here, this is a Anthurium clarinervium. Um, this is another one of the first Anthuriums that I got when I was diving into this genus of plants and it's grown really, really well for me. Um, I did recently get a inflorescence from it that I clipped off because this is the last leaf that it gave me and then this is the leaf before and during the time of giving off this leaf, it was flowering. So I think that's the reason that it was quite a bit smaller than this one. Um, and it's actually pushing out another leaf. Hopefully you guys can see that. Ignore the gnat trap. <laughs> but right here, it's got another leaf on it. And at the same time, it was giving out an inflorescence. So I clipped it off because I really want this one to focus on giving me large luscious growth um and i don't think it can do that while it's putting so much energy into flowering so i'll definitely keep you guys updated on the new leaf on this one because i'm really really excited to see how big it gets um this definitely is one of my favorites as well i know i've said that about a few different ones but i really do love this one um i mean how could i not look at that veining on there All right, I think I saved some of my best ones for last. Um, so starting off, I'll show you guys this one. This is a Anthurium, oh my gosh, Wonder Boy and Pablomamium hybrid. Um, I actually just recently took a cutting off of this one and this is the top cutting I got. Um, I mean, just look at how velvety that leaf is. I recently posted a picture on the plant Instagram of this leaf and it's in the sun. And in that picture, you can like, I'll put it somewhere in here so you guys can appreciate how unbelievably velvety this one is. So I have really, really been enjoying this one and it's definitely, like I said about the last one, this one's also one of my favorites in my collection. Um, just because how gorgeous these ones are when they put off new leaves and even when they harden off They're kind of like a purple like blue undertones to them and a really really like deep gorgeous green um, So yeah, you guys will definitely be getting lots of updates on this one the next one I have to show you guys um I recently made a post about it. We drove I think maybe four hours in total to get this and um, two other different plants that my boyfriend got um, but this is the one that I got <laughs> this is a anthurium red velvet um, I have had my eye on one of these for a while and popped up in a purge from one of like the more I guess I would say local sellers um, in the same state as me so i was like why not i'm gonna get this i wanted one for a while and the price was insane compared to what i've seen these go for um so this is definitely one of the cooler ones that i do have in my collection and i am just really excited to see this one grow um it does have some growth points on it but I think right now it's just going to be working on its roots and it's really cool because you can actually see them starting to press up against the cup that it's in. Um, you've got one right there. Oh wait, I don't know if you guys can see that. Got one right there. And then another one over here starting to show up. So that's really exciting. Um, you guys will definitely be seeing this one a lot. As soon as it puts off any leaf, you'll be seeing it. <laughs> 
I mean, it's just, it's insane how dark and velvety it is. Okay, and speaking of dark and velvety, <laughs> I've been dying to show you guys this. <laughs> I have no words. I really, I have no words for how absolutely stunning this plant is. I mean, it is, it's just like the definition of dark and velvet. <laughs> So this is a Anthurium red crystallinium and papillomerium. Um, this is the newest leaf that it's given off. And when I bought it, the leaf was probably like, I mean like half the size, honestly. So it's been absolutely insane seeing this one expand and seeing the different colors that it's going through. It's so dark, so I'm hoping it's keeping this. But I mean, hopefully just get a good look at that. <laughs> and then this is one of the older leaves. All right, one last look before moving on. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to end it off with my absolute favorite from my collection. Um, this one was a gift from my boyfriend. Um, it's the first, I want to say, like, really rare Anthuriums that I had in my collection. This is a Anthurium Ace of Spades Purple. Um, you guys have seen this one, hopefully, um, in the last video that I posted, and then... On her play Instagram, I posted the new leaves that she's given off. I am really sad to say that I did lose a few of the baby leaves, and these ones have kind of started to fade and lose their color, and I think it's due to me having it directly under the grow light in my cabinet, um, which I just don't think was very good for it. Um, so I recently moved it out of the cabinet, and... It looks like it's doing a lot better. This is the newest leaf that it did put off. It's a lot darker and just much happier and healthier looking. So hopefully the next one it gives me um, keeps up this this dark like velvety shape to it. But oh my gosh, I mean like this easily has to be one of the darkest plants in my collection. And when the new leaves come out, they're they're just stunning. I mean, I'll put a picture so you guys can see what the, like the emergence look like. But mm, my favorite plant. <laughs> I cannot wait till this one gets like huge. Like, <laughs> could you imagine this leaf? But like gigantic. I am so excited. And it actually has the beginnings of a new leaf on here. I don't know if you guys can see, but. I'm sure soon enough you guys will see me posting about this one all over the place because I can see the tip of the new leaf starting to separate off the stem. Um, so yeah, I mean soon hopefully and I'm really thinking with the new conditions and less light it's going to be a lot happier than it was in my cabinet um, because this tent's holding around the same humidity as my greenhouse cabinet was so I think it's gonna do a lot better in here so I'm happy to see her flourish and yeah give you guys updates on this one all right so that's everything for today um I am super happy that I finally got around to making this video um hopefully I can get around to editing it and posting it um soon but it might take a little bit so if you guys see posts on the Instagram of plants in here that have already put out new leaves and stuff um it's because I am very very slow when it comes to getting around to doing stuff like editing but yeah I think hopefully I'll get that done soon you guys will be watching this video within the week or so um I was hoping to dive into my prop boxes a little bit but 
I think I might honestly save that for another video because this one's long enough as it is um, and that's just my grow like my grow tent um so i don't want it to be like a 40 minute video i mean or longer honestly because i have a lot of prop and chop projects and like baby and theorem seedlings so that'll be a separate thing um but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed um let me know if there's anything else specifically that you guys want to see um like content wise a few people did ask about a ikea greenhouse setup in one of the last videos i posted and i am definitely going to try and do one of those as soon as i can um but like i said earlier i am kind of a slug when it comes to recording videos and editing and stuff so it does take me a lot of time to get the motivation to do it um and on top of it i was having a very very hard time finding the products that are in my Ikea cabinet, um, specifically the grow light. When I bought that cabinet, it came with the light setup. Um, and it also came with like the, um, the grid set up in the back and like the holders for it, everything. So I had to do a lot of like searching um, to figure out what was in there aside from the stuff that I put in there myself, which wasn't a lot. Um, but I will record a video as soon as I can. Um, once I get the chance, but I probably will not be linking the light that is in there. I'll probably be trying to give you guys something similar to it just because I couldn't really find the light that I have in there specifically, which I am really sorry about. Um, it just, it didn't have like a brand or anything on it. So I'll show you guys the light in depth um, so you guys can maybe find it if you find something similar. Or if you guys do find the light itself, tell me, but <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little explanation as to why I haven't posted one of those videos yet, and that's why. It's because I've been having some difficulties figuring out what I actually have in that greenhouse um, setup, so yeah. But anyways, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today, um, and seeing all of my different anthuriums, and like I said, I'll try to make a separate video diving into my ceilings and stuff that I have growing in my boxes just because I do have some cool stuff hanging out in there and maybe I'll do like a like a four weeks apart like update or something like that but yeah <laughs> have a good night thanks for watching I appreciate you guys <laughs>